There's a rumor, <laughs> our Capital Region insider, Brady Farkas, you see him at Tracina Saints games. There's a rumor that there's a Wounded Warrior tournament going on to start the year. And there's four teams listed in there. Included in those four teams are Duke and Wisconsin, that you guys at Siena Basketball could open the season going up against Duke and then possibly Wisconsin, two of the, the two teams that played in the NCAA championship. Would you in your right mind... Be okay with playing those two teams to start the season? Well, first of all, they're not asking me. Coach K starts it, and then Bo Ryan decides who he wants to play, and then John Thompson at the Hoyas, and then probably VCU. Had Shaka been there, they may have one more say. But that's ESPN. They, they own those things. In other words, that's TV driven and all that. Look, if you got to go to Wisconsin or you got to go to Duke, it's a great opportunity for the kids. I'd sort of like to play in Cameron Indoor because it's a memory of a lifetime and. And Coach K is the best coach out there. Plus, they score, so you got to, you got to, you know, you want to play up and down. Hey, if you if you play at Cameron, Levac and I might have to get that. Thing hey, if we open at Cameron and Wisconsin, and Wisconsin, all the people around here, you can't complain about my schedule anymore. So, well, but you know, you'd have to go there, and, and then you go to Brian, who's going to be really good, and, and they host the next two games. But in other words, if TV dictates it, and you know, we're, we're they give us money to be in that tournament, and, and it would be a great experience for the kid. I would like the kids. I would like to go home. And play a Georgetown VCU game because most of our players are from there. So you'd like to play them. You know, obviously the New York kids get taken care of up here. But if you got to go to Duke, kind of cool, you know. But like I said, when ESPN asks you to be on the opening night, what do you say? No. So John, have, but I discussed asked. this with John Dargenio. He, we have, well, they're putting it together. And then okay. this will all be released pretty soon, too. But they, what they do is they ask the Big Four, what do you want to do? And then what do you want to do, ESPN? And what do you want to do, the Big right. Ten Network? And. Sienna's got a great name, you know. They, so, they, in other words, you don't think ESPN wants Duke and Sienna versus Duke and Prairie View because Prairie View's in it, oh. and they got a good little team, but they're new. In other words, Radford's fine and Bryant, but they're like Duke Sienna. That's going to be like people still know how good our program is because it's been great for thirty years. So if it, an honor. if it doesn't happen, it's because Coach K is scared. Is that what we're going with here? Is I'm, that going, I'm going with he might be driving the bus on that because he's saying I want to play Sienna because it's a better name when we're on national television on Friday night. I'm being serious. And then when you beat him. That guy thinks of everything. Like when Coach K says, no, I don't want to play a team that no one's heard of. I want to play a good program. He doesn't shy away from playing people. And more people will tune in because Siena's a real program with a great history. And everybody knows Jimmy. And like, In other words, I think he looks at everything. I think that guy's the smartest businessman in, in sports. And he looks at everything. And then he goes back and tells ESPN. And obviously, since we saw how like Battier and Grant Hill and these guys move up and Jason Williams in the ESPN, I think that guy's got a little pull in Bristol. <laughs> That's so what right. happens when you beat him? Will he, will he ever want to play again? Look, we play that in Wisconsin. We go 2-0. Oh, our RPI will be number one. That'll be it. No! <laughs>